Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. I'm a Prusian, and uh, I'm escaping, I guess. Um, but I could get in there and loot those bodies. All right, let's do this. Despite the music, the, like, hurry up and go music, I don't see a countdown. So guess what I'm not gonna do? I'm gonna go, but I'm not gonna hurry up. I've got stuff to loot, apparently. Oh, I can even sell things. Helen, you know what? The thing is, I don't love running around in close quarters with my long range gun out. It just doesn't make much sense to me. Thank you, Helen, or Ruth, or. I'm just gonna, what is that? I'm just gonna follow along. I'm trying to see if there are any like places to duck into, you know? But like, I really can't keep track of where I've been. So I guess I could look at the map. Oh, I'm here. Okay, so this was the vending machine. This is where I started and I saw this room. I don't, see any connections and I had to go through this door because I think that was the door that was sealed so I assume I'll just go back out yeah I don't hmm. could I have gone that way? it seemed like it was sealed there's all there are, like oh wait that's where I'm going there are all these places I don't see how this is part of that circle. What the heck? Oh, it's not. Okay. Wait, no. What the heck? I like don't understand this geography. Oh, I haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. Like, I don't understand this geography at all. But like this is sealed. And I don't see like a ladder or so you know what? I am not going to stress it. I'm not going to stress trying to get into all the little hidden places. If they want me to be able to come back and do that, great. But like right now, this is very much like... Okay, try throwing the switch. Sure, we will do. Like what is this? skimming off the top there. It's weird. Helen, you are very hard to hear this sireny nonsense. Whoops. We made it. Nice work, Inspector. You're welcome. We may have put a stop to Ludovico's operations, but he's still at large. He's probably gone into hiding, so we're going to root him out. Heck yeah, we are. I mean, the thing is, she has killed people. So, P 
people that I'm not convinced she needed to kill. So I'm gonna go with this option. I'm helping you out because Ludovico had to be stopped. You and I are not friends. Ah, surprisingly rude. What did I do to deserve this kind of hostility? Oh, right. All those people I killed. Bye. Yeah, that. I'll keep this professional. Meet me at the penthouse suite. We'll prepare our next move. Hold on, I have questions. Not here. In private, back at the penthouse. Also, I rather like the ambiance there. See you soon, Inspector. All right. Okay. So whatever bomb Ludovico had did not blow up this whole place. I'm trying to remember, was that Helen's bomb that Ludovico used? I can't I can't recall anymore. Okay, well, I guess I'm supposed to go back to the penthouse at this point. That's really the only thing left. But... I'm not sure if there's anything even though for me to do here besides probably run into a few random people and murder them, so... Okay, I will go back to the penthouse. Okay, I am back in the penthouse. You might kind of see... Uh, even the air in here feels too sweet. Almost sticky. Centrifuge. Oh, it was stolen from Riz's RR&DD labs. Examine it. I see a small label stuck against the side of the device. Rizzo's Laboratory Centrifuge. No training required. All Rizzo's Laboratory equipment has been designed for use by the unschooled worker. Insert ingredients, push buttons, and watch it spin. So easy, a Spacer's Choice worker could use it. Dexterity, perception, peel back the label. You see another smaller label under that one. It reads, Discontinued Model, Spacer's Choice Proprietary Technology. <laughs> that is incredible. I love everything about that. I want to see something. Sam, you're in my way. Because... Okay, good, it's red. I was like, because if this is friggin' yellow... Okay, good, no. Alright, what else What else people got for me? Parvati, hey, anything to Captain. say? Hey, Captain. I'm just gonna stand here quietly and hope Miss Helen doesn't look straight at me. Mostly because, honestly, I don't know what to make of her yet. I don't blame you. Things are a little bit odd. Alright, Max. Serials are used by the board to control what the colonists think about reality. Quite a powerful thing. Felix. What do you think about this? Is this how people in Byzantium live all the time? Yes, standing next to Halcy and Helen. That is how they do it all the time. Um, oh, I guess I could talk to you, Sam. Sam's special inspector add-on includes a magnifying glass to sleuth out the germs and parasites that other cleaning products leave behind. Excellent. Good, good work. Good job. Okay, well, let's talk to Helen then. It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. I'm sorry, this must be difficult for you. I appreciate the sympathy, Inspector. Thank you. I'll appreciate your help even more. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not going to sit idly by. If he can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, I'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. Hmm. Oh, no. 
Um, <laughs> about to ask me to go steal some chemicals for you. Uh, your immune system could destroy the parasites before the larval stage? Precisely. I see we're in your wheelhouse, Inspector. Or do you prefer doctor? Listen, we're going I to need two ingredients. A sample of essence of Sprat and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. No problem. Essence of Sprat sounds like the type of perfume Spacer's Choice would make. Um, yeah, I'll just say this. Um, I should be able to synthesize an effective antiparasitic. You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Use the ingredients to synthesize an antiparasitic. That's the plan. Easy enough. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. Oh. Borrow the needler? <laughs> most? This is also true. But I'm really curious about the needler not so fast let me borrow your needler are you worried i'm gonna shoot you in the back no i want to i'm already doing all the work i deserve to feel like need to rave hero You're right <laughs> you do deserve the spotlight here you take good care of my yes. needler and it'll take good care of you <laughs> thanks there is one other thing while you're at Perea's spaceport have a word with cedric kincannon i know cedric there's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Yeah, Best we're gonna luck, have to Inspector. do something to convince him on. not to murder you, Helen. Um, yeah, I want to ask you about Belinda. I'm not accustomed to talking about Belinda, but I'm also not accustomed to the kind of sympathy you showed me earlier. So I'll make an exception for you. Belinda and I shared the role of Helen, but she was also the only person who knew the real me. To the rest of the colony, I'm Halcyon Helen, but to my sister, I'm... I was just Ruth. I could be myself around Belinda, and she could be herself around me. She was my only sister, but she was also my only friend. People know your Ruth Bellamy. Was it hard for Belinda to keep herself secret? No. Belinda enjoyed the secrecy. She could slip into the role of Halcyon Helen, attend social events on my behalf, perform a few stunts, deliver a few lines. And then, when she grew tired of all the people and all the attention, all she had to do was slip out of the role and be my sister again. She was the secret twin. She had a comfortable life in the shadows, an easier life. I made sure of that. Yeah, she was important to you. If I were you, I'd want revenge too. What I want is my sister back, but I'll settle for killing Ludovico. Nobody else knew you had a twin sister? Parents, naturally. An agent, a couple sense. of directors. None of them had any reason to reveal the truth. To them, Helen was a brand. Revealing our secret meant damaging that brand. Damaging that brand meant losing money. Nobody in this colony wants to lose money. Belinda and I saw Helen as... an act of theatric sleight of hand. We enjoyed the deception, the challenge. We wanted to see how far we could go. <laughs> Interesting. I'd say it went pretty far. You two became Halcyon's best paid stars. And if I hadn't underestimated Ludovico, you and I probably wouldn't be talking about Belinda in the past tense. We wouldn't be talking about her at all. We wouldn't should be have talking. been meeting that ballroom. Belinda died because I was careless. Never mind that. If you've got something else to ask me, now's the time. That's all I wanted to know. I'm glad I could satisfy your curiosity. Yeah, okay. I want to hear the whole story. Tell me what happened. It's a long story, Inspector. 
I've got time. It was supposed to be just another marketing job. Rizzo's wanted Halcyon Helen to be the face of Spectrum Brown. Some hideous concoction served with a dead parasite. All we had to do was spend a few weeks on Eridanos. Shake some hands, sign a few autographs, drink a bottle of Spectrum Brown in front of a camera, and try to smile. Belinda didn't want to go. But I wanted a change of scenery. In any case, we couldn't possibly say no. <laughs> Why didn't Belinda want to go? Belinda always hated endorsement deals. They felt cheap to her. Inauthentic. She always believed her first priority was to our fans, and not the company that bought us out. Hmm. What made her change her mind? Nothing. She took the job when I did. Belinda was an idealist, and her ideals died with her. Belinda and I arrived on Eridanos and played our usual game of trading places. We were practically flawless. Even Ludovico didn't know about us. Belinda was unhappy for the first few days. But then she met Birdie Holcomb. Birdie treated her like a human being and not just an Aetherwave icon. They were just about perfect. I was wondering. Yeah, okay. I met the guy who really did care about her. Birdie had a temper and that worried yeah. me. Yeah. But in the end, he was a decent enough fellow. Birdie wasn't the person I should have kept an eye on. It was Ludovico. I had a feeling Ludovico was hiding something. Belinda stayed busy socializing with the celebrities around the complex. That gave me some time to do a little digging. Yeah, you made your way to the orchards and left me my first clue. The Purpleberry Orchards was the heart of Ludovico's operations. I knew I'd find some answers in the R&D lab. I saw everything. The test subjects, the parasites. Spectrum Brown was never safe to drink. Those harmless dead parasites at the bottom of every bottle. They were just dormant. They would have sold out in a month. This colony loves novelty. They'll eat up any new product we toss their way. A new cereal, a new Spectrum flavor. Ludovico knows that. From Emerald Vale to Byzantium. A parasite in every brain and a grin on every face. Every last one of us trapped behind a mask of joy. That's what Ludovico wants. Yeah, it's not too dissimilar from Adreno time, to be honest. All right, Ludovico realized what you were up to. He thought you'd expose his plans. <sighs> I was careless. I was risking Belinda's life every step of the way, and I never even realized. I'm gonna say nothing. I mean, don't blame yourself, but like, how do you not blame yourself? I'll say don't blame yourself. I wish it were that easy. Still, thank you. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? Hmm. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, you killed innocent people. Do you really think I'd be? I yes, Inspector. I did. Leora Blossom and Maria Keane were on Ludovico's side. They chose to stand between me and my sister's killer. I had to cross them off. <laughs> Once again, you're forgetting about the mascot. What exactly happened between you and Constable Keane? Could you believe me if I said I gave the constable a chance? I spoke to her in her office. I told her everything. Belinda, Ludovico, the parasites, all of it. Maria said I was guilty of corporate sabotage, and that she had a duty to report me. She told me how sorry she was, and I told her the same thing. And then I shot her. Maria was defending my sister's killer. If someone murdered one of your crew in cold blood, what would you do? I mean... I never really needed a reason to go on a murderous rampage. Yeah. I'll say I would have made them pay. So you do I mean, understand. Was there anything else? Me in real life? Um... No, but... This character, for sure. Birdie was carrying this data pad. I think it's yours. Yes, this is mine. I'd kept notes on everything I suspected. 
everything I'd discovered. It's all here, all in code. Belinda and I... We had a secret way of communicating. Words and phrases that had a special meaning to us. Numbers and dates that were only important to the two of us. Only two people in the universe knew that language. Hmm. Here, take it. That's kind of you. Thank you. What exactly happened on the night of the murder? You don't know how many times I relived this moment in my mind. I discovered what Ludovico was up to when I toured the orchards. I threatened to expose his plan. Ludovico decided to eliminate me. He programmed Burbage 3001 to fire on his command and disabled the security cameras in the ballroom. Only, mm. he didn't know about Belinda. Burbage I'm sure he thought it was my skull he caved in with a bottle of Spectrum Brown. Burbage covered his blow with the plasma shot and then Ludovico wiped his memory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, though. He hired me to pin the murder on someone else. I don't think he expected you to be so competent. In the end, hiring you may have been his undoing. Yeah, I went I... after Leora Blossom, and you were just one step behind me. I programmed an automech to steal some explosives from Cedric, but you weren't far behind. You were always hot on my heels, one step behind and catching up. I realized I'd have to throw in with you or eliminate you. I mean, I'll, I say this, she would have lost the fight. Honestly, she probably would have won the fight. Excuse me, and then I would have had to reload. And then I would have won the fight. <laughs> I like your confidence. Take that with you when you hunt down Ludovico. All right. I am going to go hunt down Ludovico. I am proud of myself for, like, I legitimately did realize that it was Ludovico before the Just there were things that I couldn't have known, like the double Helen, Helen's still alive thing. Okay, what does the journal say? The bird drug. Oh, right. To go get Essence of Sprat. Recruit Cedric. Yeah, I'm going to go talk to Cedric because... Will it let me fast travel? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Okay, let's go talk to Cedric. Incoming! I'll show you happiness! In oh. Whoa, buddy. Don't give me this cloud of stuff. You just say what's wrong, friendo. Is that what I just heard? Yeah, I feel like this the parasite stuff is definitely spreading. Getting a lot worse than it had been. There we go. All right, peeps. But right, like I feel like I'm running into more and more um, hosts, which doesn't seem like a good thing. Okay. Secretary's gone. Is Cedric gonna be up here? Is he somewhere else? Is it like, is it that? Foreman Cedric. Oh, he is that way. Okay. That's fine. 
I just, I don't know why I assumed that green dot was for something else, and because this was optional, I thought I should just go where I knew dude was. But, okay, that's fine. He must be inside that's the warehouse. a lot of containers. Is this just a distribution center, or do you think they're planning something? Huh. Well, looks like we've got another frenzied host to deal with, so this is not going well. Like, it's hitting all the sublight people. Which is definitely not good. Okay. Um. Back up. Law, well, how'd you get in here alive? You are alive, yeah? And not a one of them? No. I... You look clean. Good. You'd better get inside with the others. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. How did I not discover this vending machine anyways? I think I'm okay. I'm wait. All right. Yeah, y'all's got a slug has a slug problem. Inspector, you made it. Well done. I'm afraid you may find the spaceport is at the moment less hospitable than usual. My apologies. Regardless, you must have some purpose here. Do tell. Uh, what happened Oof. here? Whatever it was, it happened quickly. Like a wave sweeping across the shore. We were overrun. Survivors are still trickling in. We've put out a call to slug agents not at the docks to keep their distance. With the warehouse's stores, slug could hold out here for weeks, easily. Possibly months. Well, that's good. Ludovico's behind everything. Will you help me take him down? Oh, my. You mean Lou was up to no good this whole time? <laughs> Can you be smug later? <laughs> Are you going to help me punch the purple berries out of your rival or not? Oh... <sighs> There's so many good options. <laughs> They're killing me here. I'm gonna go with the purple berries. Oh, absolutely. You can expect slug support. I'll arrange for my agents to meet you at the distillation station. Excellent. Much appreciated. <laughs> Tell them to bring their best weapons and any personal issues they'd like to work out through violence. How did you know I was headed there? There are slugs in the Spectrum Brown Bottles, Inspector. I am operating on the theory that this is, perhaps, not good. As thrilled as I am to assist you in taking down Lou, we have barricaded ourselves in here for a reason. I imagine you have a plan for getting out of the spaceport safely? Yeah, it's called fast travel. Um... Going to disperse an antiparasitic. It's almost ready. I mean, that's true, but... It's, well, almost ready as a stretch. I took out some of the infected on the way in. Should be safer that now. That I'd lose some of my agents to this violence was likely inevitable. Still, that is sad news, Inspector. Yeah, Kindly I don't like it. save all further bloodshed for Ludovico. I will attempt to do so. Yeah, I'm working with her to create an anti-parasitic. We need Essence of Sprat. With Helen, you don't say. <laughs> Boy, damn it, did you know she was alive? You flatter me, but no, of course not. Knowing implies certainty. I merely suspected. This anti-parasitic, it would restore my people to their original, non-infected selves? Safely? Um... Well, yes, well... Probably. You do inspire confidence, Inspector. I didn't have well, a science option. Well, I'll take option. my people's probable cure over their guaranteed death. Coincidentally enough, Slug can supply you with essence of Sprat. Excellent. Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I you remember, remember her. her. There's a package on the desk in her office. You'll find the essence of Sprat you need in there. Oh, 
Hold on, you told me you don't believe in coincidence. You're right. I don't. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you while you're here? I feel like Cedric King Cannon is one of the more interesting characters to have a conversation with. I really enjoy it. Okay, that's all for now. Okay. I'll pick up that essence of Sprat. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Ugh, essence of Sprat? Why would anybody keep a vial of... Never mind, I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, synthesize the antiparasitic. Don't I also need... If I need something else, did I already have? Oh! An egg pod. That's the fucking cave network! I knew that cave network mattered. I just found it early. Oh, yeah, and that's where, like, the geologist or whatever was, like, talking about the parasite, the slug eggs and stuff. Oh, God. Okay. 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 I think that means, actually, I need to fast travel because, um, the centrifuge was in the penthouse. Don't worry, the centrifuge is practically foolproof. That's good. Are you gonna let me fast travel? No. Okay. Uh, where were the stairs? There we go. All right. Okay, I am going to go ahead and make this anti-parasitic. Pour in the essence of Sprat and Parasite Egg. Smells vaguely like the Rust and Go on the Groundbreaker or possibly the Cantina in Edgewater. It's difficult to place, but your eyes water all the same. The Parasite Eggs sink in the concoction sizzling. You activate the centrifuge. The device does its work without any additional input from you. A swirl of bright colors entertains your eyes, and a few minutes later you hear a bright chime. Leave it alone. So, that's not really what centrifuges are for, I don't think. But you know what? Whatever. I'll take it. I have an anti-parasitic. And next time, I will use it. Bye.